Today we're releasing WolfQuest Anniversary Edition version 1.02 that has some big improvements that I showed in the public beta testing dev blog a couple weeks ago, namely much, much improved pathfinding for all the AI animals, much improved obstacle avoidance as well. Uh, full controller support for Xbox and uh, PlayStation controllers. The game should automatically detect those. Reminder, this is just support for using those controllers with the PC game, not actually console support, which we'd love to do someday. But there are a lot of other factors involved in that, so who knows. What else? There are a lot of improvements to the overall lighting, especially at dawn and dusk and at nighttime with the moonlight. And a lot of other things, like the cliff rocks here, which have a much better shader on them now to make them look more realistic. And uh, let, me, let me cue the snowstorm here. They will accumulate snow when it snows. It looks quite nice as it accumulates on these uh, on these steep rocks. My mate and I are having a kind of a conversation there, I guess. I'm not sure what they're talking about. And then there's just a whole bunch of other little things, a lot of, a lot of improvements, a lot of bug fixes, and some things that were bugs and now are improvements. After we added the eagles fishing the Lamar River, occasionally players would come across a fish that the eagle had dropped. Now this was a bug. They shouldn't drop their fish. They should go home and fly, eat them out of sight. Um, but occasionally they would drop them. So we decided that's not a bug, that's a feature, or at least a feature that hasn't been finished yet. So now the fish that the eagles accidentally drop occasionally are edible. They have food points, a little less than a hair, and uh, you can carry them around properly. They will emit carcass scents, floating scents, but only if there aren't a lot of other, other scents around. Just for performance reasons, we reflect these as not priority scents. So you may or may not see them. They don't glow yet in scent view, but they will. That's something we've got to add still. So that's just uh, one small feature out of many, many small features and bug fixes, along with the bigger features, in this version 1.02. So this public beta that we've been doing for the past few weeks has been, from our point of view, really terrific. We've gotten lots and lots of bug reports, really helpful degree of testing, really a lot of testing, a lot of bug reports, a lot of feedback, super helpful. And so we're gonna keep it going. We're gonna keep this, this uh, public beta option available and we have something that's in good shape, but not quite good enough, not tested enough to release um, in the main release channel, we're gonna put it up here. So if you like to live dangerously, um, as you've seen, sometimes we do release a beta that has a, a bad bug in it. You can just stay in the beta channel and get those as we put them out there and uh, help us make them better before we release them in the main channel. Of course, you don't have to do that. You can just stay in the main channel and get them once they've been tested. But we really appreciate everybody's help. So thank you again to everyone who's participated in the public beta and um, anyone else who's purchased and is playing the game. We wouldn't be doing this without you. Mm -hmm.